In this episode, we find a cool place to sleep and sneak into one of the most beautiful abandoned buildings I've explored, seen in blockbusters like Blade Runner 2049, and avoid security, which is inside. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer, and with friends I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. I'm on a road trip in Hungary with Elena, and we're looking for a place to spend the night. Evening number two, we have another hotel where we can possibly sleep. Hopefully we don't end up in the car again. <laughs> yeah, let's go. We're packed and we're ready for the free hotel experience. And we already arrived. You can see a little bit of the hotel here. Spooky to enter here at night. Hope nobody's inside. Probably not. But you never know. So as you can see, first window is open. Let's check if there is a nice place. Okay. Oh my god, oh this is the nice room. Oh my god, we definitely need to hang out here. Nice. Well, should we look for a place where we can sleep? Yeah, maybe go upstairs. Yeah, okay. This is nothing. Okay, oh, maybe there's another option on the other side. We're crazy, you know that, right? <laughs> it's 11 o'clock and the two of us are looking for a free night. <laughs> Cute. It smells in here. Oh, somebody had a dump in here. <laughs> okay, one room left. Oh, doesn't look bad. Oh, nice. Maybe we have to get some blankets and put them over the mattress. <laughs> oh, damn. King size. Going to the basement to find some sheets for on the bed. Clean one. What's this? Looks like a war map. These it's arrows. The tourist map. Yeah. <laughs> little little difference. Seems you found the bar. Nice, also in style. Mm -hmm. So, what do you want tomorrow? Look at the prices. Oh, oh my god. The this must. Salad, right? You know, when you see these prices, you know it's closed at least, I would say, <laughs> 10 years, right? Also, nothing here. No. Yeah, good question. Let's find out. We just have been in the tourist part, and this is maybe the part for the employees. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> and? Nice. Yeah? Yeah. Just stay here. Yeah. I know, I wasn't sure when I came yeah. in. Look at how old the food next to you is. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh my god. It looks totally so decomposed. Nasty. That looks totally different than... Uh, it's Fisher Price. <laughs> it's made for children. <laughs> no. No. I never saw a hotel without any blankets or sheets. No. Look at the little mailboxes. Oh yeah. Oh, it's full with cobwebs. It's plastic. Ah, oh, shit. Let's relax on the launch. No clean sheets, but at least we have a bed. So Elena, what do we have here? We have some olives and papitas oh. and carrots that are a knife for the dip. <laughs> the and carrot knife. Yeah. We have some salmon that's oh. uh, soon 24 hours years old. <laughs> and we don't have a clean knife for this, so oh. this is for tomorrow. And then uh, <laughs> some stuffed peppers. No, no. Sorry, relax and have a late night dinner. Then it's time to sleep. Are you looking for a sink? I think mm -hmm. there is one. <laughs> so this place is wide open and you don't want any visitors. At least unwanted visitors. So there's an easy way to block the door if there's no key. If you have a tripod at least. Or you could try to find something else. Just put a tripod under it. Like this. 
as stable as possible. Maybe you did this better. And shove it up all the way. You see, and this way, if they want to pull the lever, you see. The door is totally blocked and we have a good night of sleep, hopefully. <laughs> That's the job. Oh, there's a spider next to us. <laughs> this is nothing compared to before. There's not scorpions and centipedes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we ended up in this shitty room. <laughs> Good night, guys. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> you slept well? <laughs> yeah, awesome. What's nice with the coat hanger for the clothes? Hopefully, the food is still downstairs. Yeah, right? Breakfast at the balcony <laughs> with a nice view on the lake. Bon appetit. <laughs> Before we leave, I quickly make some shots of this beautiful retro hotel. Just one of the many abandoned ones which you can find in this area. So we had a nice day, and now it's time to go on a new adventure. Yeah. Damn, the weather is really great. I know, I can't believe this. Oh, somebody's coming. Come here. It's time to pick up Esther from the train station, one of the moderators of my Discord server. On our way to the train station we visit a few locations, like this old morgue. So we just picked up Esther, she will be joining us for a few days. Hi! <laughs> now we will try a place which was on my list to visit in the beginning of 2020. But then, the pandemic came. Now I can finally see this place, which is a dream coming true if it works out. What a beautiful building. My God. It seems there are things going on around the building. We can only hope they are not shooting a movie in here today. This was the case in the most famous abandoned location in Hungary. A beautiful control room, which I have visited in 2012. Nowadays, it's almost fully booked for movie shoots. It turns out there is an event, so it's really busy and some sides of the building are completely blocked off. It doesn't look good. We check all options and after a lot of effort and patience, we get inside unnoticed. We snug in, we made it. <laughs> it's pretty tricky because it's really busy on the street. And you can hear the guys sweeping just right over. Yeah, it's crazy. It's scary too because you don't know if it's inside or outside. And you can't hear well because there's a concert outside. Yeah. So Esther went to the car, unfortunately. She couldn't join. So we're gonna explore it. Be really silent because there's a guard inside. Let's go up somewhere. It's really big. So I'm shooting without a gimbal. It wouldn't fit. Let's go up here. We're in the safe zone. This national monument was built in the beginning of the 20th century. With 50,000 square meters, it was one of the largest stock exchanges in Europe. In 1948, the Lennon Institute moved in. After that, the House of Technology. And in 1955, Hungarian television used the palace. So much garbage in here. In 1969, the entire building was taken over and the interior remodeled and some spaces transformed into studios. Since then, it's used as a movie location. Scenes from famous blockbusters have been shot here, like Blade Runner 2049 and Black Widow. Look at the tiles, it's just like no yeah. There's 
such a big place. I wonder if it ever gets renovated. Oh, here's the glass dome. So below us will be the nice dome. <laughs> Luckily there's a marathon going on, so I think we should go this way and then find a staircase that goes down one floor. This floor looks really... Uh... Oh, it's fine. It's, it's a wooden floor. Looks like sometimes they work here. When you see this? Yeah, there's a lot of trash bags. It doesn't look too old. Maybe for the TV crow or something. Amazing. The whole ceiling's just coming down. Glad we didn't walk that way. <laughs> it's in a pretty bad condition. From the exterior, it looks pretty okay. Yeah, nice detail. But you can see they remodeled this building. Do you want to check the stairs? I mean, I'm just nervous. It's going to be noisy. It's a hatch. Okay. Oh, yeah, don't do it. Look at that. It's like that tower. Okay. Before we go down, we go to the roof to check out the view. Fans on the window is a bit Soviet style. You see this in Russian barracks too. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm even surprised oh. the lighting wasn't more grandiose. No. Maybe it was. Back in the day. So we're now walking to the roof. So we we'll have an amazing view. Oh my God, oh. that's the Parliament building. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> we brought the wrong lenses. Yeah, we had limited space. We just had a tiny entrance there. So. <laughs> oh yeah, the parliament building is over there. We have to take care that there's no radio stuff in here. Now we have to be careful here. On this roof, some scenes of Black Widow were shot. Unfortunately, we can't get around unseen at this time of the day.
These are all TV studios. Oh my god, that's nice. <gasps> looks like they put new floors in afterwards. This one looks like it's a later addition. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that is beautiful over here. <gasps> this is what we saw from upstairs. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, beautiful details. What a beautiful hall. Wow. You can see the people walking down the street. It's hard to see on the camera. So this place was actually a dream to visit because years ago I went to the cinema with Ilko and we saw Blade Runner 2049 and it was an epic scene in an amazing place and I told Ilko like, wow, this is my dream urbex location. And then suddenly it turns out it really existed. So here we are, not in the main area yet, but soon we'll be there and I will be really, really happy. <laughs> yeah. But this is also nice. I'm still, can't believe we got inside. Crazy. It's an area. I saw the upstairs with the... Uh, oh, the, the winding machine. Yeah. <laughs> Look, the, the flowers, oh, little details so there. Pretty. Yeah, this one is great. Oh, they are damaged. You see there? Oh, yeah. The jaw is missing. Oh, yeah. Oh, his jaw Oh, that one is still intact. So we're now trying to find the hall. It should be on the left. Don't talk too loud if this is the hall. Yeah, it's here. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what an amazing place. This is the highlight of the location. Maybe the most beautiful and most impressive room I've seen in an abandoned place. Here you see two stills from the movie Blade Runner 2049. Compared to a year earlier, paint is removed from the door, peeling paint has been removed and some walls have changed. Probably for a movie shoot. This is the main staircase. It's the only room which didn't get remodeled. I hope that the car doesn't get up to check the festival from a better perspective.
background music. <laughs> That's to be experienced, the music. This is not all. On the other side, maybe it's similar. Or it's the same. Curtain system? The subwoofer makes it sound like somebody's walking in here. You feel it like everything is like vibrating. What are all the numbers up there for? I don't know. Hard to say. Maybe they have to say put the curtains up to 11 or something. Maybe. Uh, Hard to say. Oh, do you think this is how they'd run all the curtains? Maybe. This is the room where the guard is located, so unfortunately we can't go there. We also don't know if he walks around inside the building. Thanks to the music outside, we were able to move unnoticed. Suddenly it's silent. Every noise we make reverberates through the hall. We even hear the guard cough and talk, so we have to be really really silent. It's so large. Time to leave <laughs> in the middle of the day. You can see the people outside. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see in the camera. But...
We make it out unseen, thanks to Esther, who was on watch. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment and thumbs up if you liked the episode. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. See you next week.